We're talking college football, and we're talking the three games of the week, our top three games of the week for week eight. Uh, Mark Lawrence from Playbook Experts YouTube channel is here, of course, to join me. And uh, last week, we had a lot of fun with our three games of the week uh, mm -hmm. because we had uh, a lot of interesting feedback from uh, BYU fans who thought that my pick of Arizona was just not the way to go. <laughs> so uh, unfortunately, those fans did not get the opportunity to check out or even comment in a nice uh, uh, way with our upset picks last week. But that's the way it is, isn't it, Mark? Uh, you know, it's always the negative comments. Very hard for people to, to say something like, boy" when you do something good. But No, the only time you hear from people is when something went wrong, okay? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and in a case like this, it's usually the scores that go wrong and then you hear from them. Uh, yeah. But you know something? Over the course of the years, and I've been doing this for many, many years, people will realize that uh, it's not – the battle you win that counts. It's the war. You win more games than you lose over the course of the football season. That's what counts. You're not going to win every game, but you can handicap the games. And if you do it a good job of doing this, just that you'll win the war. And if uh, we didn't have the ability to like kind of rub off the comments easily, we wouldn't be in it. Uh, yes. we, we bring it on. We think it's a lot of fun. We get it. Sometimes look, if, if you cross the line and we'll let you know, uh, but other than that, it, it, it's the business. And uh, as long as we have the confidence, which we do, that we're going to be able to pick some good winners, then that's what we're going to do. And by the way, keep in mind, too, this is not picks of the week. These are three games that we try to zero in on that we think that you'd like to know information on that we can provide for you that are considered you know, some really good games. And along the way, if we think it's a really good pick, we'll say it. And we're going to start off this week with one of our three games this week. Uh, and that is going to be Georgia and Texas, the biggest one maybe of all. Uh, but matter of fact, if you want to check out the Alabama-Tennessee game uh, and a little bit of a breakdown there, check out the Playbook Experts YouTube channel. That's where not only was Mark there, and of course I was there as well producing the show, but you had Andy Isco, Tony Mejia, and Jim Feist. So, you know, you had a handful of handicappers giving their opinions, stats, trends, whatever, analysis on the Alabama-Tennessee game. So you can check that out on that channel. I'll have a link in the description for that one. But Georgia, Texas, this is uh, as big as it gets. This is what's great about having Texas and Oklahoma move to the SEC. This is what's great about having Oregon move to the Big Ten. There's a lot of there's a lot of negatives to it, but there's also positives to it. And this is the positive is we get to see Georgia take on Texas. Matter of fact, if you look at it, um, uh, if you look at the schedule, I, I forget exactly where it was. I'll have to check it out. But the scheduling, it's like, wait a second. I mean, wow, look, look at look at how uh, uh, these teams have got to basically face each other, especially Georgia. Georgia usually doesn't have to play Alabama until the end of the season. This season, you know, they get Alabama. Then a few weeks later, they get Texas. Then they get Florida, which is a big rivalry game. And then they got to go to Ole Miss. And then they got to host Tennessee. I mean, it's yep. just a murderous schedule, which, which again, is the point that we're making. We've made all season in this playoff uh, uh, era now, real playoff era, is that you can lose a couple of games in the SEC because its schedule is tough as it is, and you can still end up, uh, even if maybe you don't win the SEC championship game, in the playoffs. And uh, I don't know what you feel, if that's a good thing or not. Well, I think it's a good thing for college football. You will see uh, at least one, maybe even two, two lost teams out of the Southeast Conference in the playoffs this year, simply because at the end of the season, all they need to do is be ranked in the top 12. And if you take a two-loss Alabama team, rest assured they're going to be in the top 12. So too will the Georgia Bulldogs. So they're not in dire straits, if you will, going into head-to-head -head games like this. But when they hit the second loss of the season, that's when it becomes dire straits time. Yep. And they're, again, they're not there yet. As a matter of fact, Texas hasn't lost a game yet. But I was looking at the odds, uh, I think it was early this morning, maybe even last night, and Texas was up to five. I mean, they started at three and a half and went to five. And I was like, wow, five. It's a lot of money going on Texas. Uh, as I kind of understand it. Uh, look, Vegas puts the number out. It's up to the it's up to the gamblers. Where's the money going to go? That's going to the, the, the money is going to Texas. So uh, it's not like Vegas can do anything about it, basically. They could, but... This is just the system. It's the way it works. By the way, Georgia's dropped four straight covers on the year. They've lost that game, of course, when they were getting blown out by Alabama just a few weeks ago. First time Georgia's been a dog since week one of the 2021 season when they beat Clemson. 
in that neutral uh, site game that was a really sl- you know uh, defensive slugfest. I don't know. Look, I don't have any major trends here except for the Georgia trend I just mentioned. This is just a, ma- a fact of whether or not you believe, in my opinion, who's the better team. And I know Georgia's a little bit more desperate, and I get that. But I don't know. I just uh, I'm kind of siding towards Texas in this one. Well, if you look at the game, Greg, here, I think uh, at the beginning of the season, before anybody even uh, played the actual game, you would probably bet on the fact that these two teams would be in amongst the top four teams in college football in the playoff this year. And one of these four two teams will likely be just that. And right now it's looking a lot like Texas. But this is a Georgia Bulldog team that you cannot – fall asleep on wow. and if you do if you do you're going to end up paying a price and you're going to pay a severe price remember that they had won 42 consecutive regular season games in a row before alabama tripped them up a couple of weeks ago 42 in a row they don't lose with a lot of regularity do the georgia bulldogs and you've also got in this here you got texas coming off whipping up on oklahoma the last five times they played oklahoma they've lost to the spread all 